What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. What I have for you today is how to build the Northern Archers like a chap. So, what do we have here today? We have Kangaskhan, Mowgli, and Subutai. Such a good team. This is nuts. This team is just out of their minds broken right now. And not HT. You get a third of it for free. You literally get a third of this team for free. And it uses purple skills. This team is like unmatched right now by like everyone else because they're you can start this in season one. You can you get a third of it for free. You get purple skills on this team right now that are meta. It's not like you actually use the purple skills on the meta builds right now. Um, archers and cavalry. It's it. I mean, it's just it's so good. You can basically slap like every single purple assault um, attack modifier skill on here, and it's gonna work right especially if you go mongolian cavalry archers in season one this is the team that you're going to want to get so breaking it down what we got um so i want to talk more quickly on this right here let's talk about their bond bonus the fact that in nudge to the troop bonus so um the setup right now let's go into kangas real quick it is biography you also get this as well um during battle two allies five percent crit chance and ten and and ten speed so that's good stuff right there. You can build it with Jeb, and you can build it with Bo. So, a lot of different pieces right here. We'll talk about those people. We'll go into this Excel spreadsheet that we got, and we'll talk about them as well. I don't have them to present, but um, as y'all know, there's a lot of luck based. So, um, we'll talk about them a little bit more in the spreadsheet and what we've been seeing in the meta right now with um, the way these teams are built and um, the way that you guys can build them as well. So, Kangas, I'll start him off. He's a bit of a, um, he can be kind of tough to build. He can be. Um, Whistle and Arrow. Um, this right here is such a unique skill. I love the way it's built. Um, each turn you inflict focus power. He's the only one that does this. Um, and the target becomes the priority that take our actions, our hero's basic attack. So if he attacks, everyone's going to follow suit. Um, reduces the defense of one random ally affected by attack. You're lowering their defense based on attack. That's pretty bonkers right there, if you ask me. What a point is she if you gain combo status at the first two turns. So, good stuff there. I love Unhinge on him. I love Unhinge on him because he's already, he's a pretty fast card. Um, and so he can proc this pretty easily on in the game. 150% damage, and then he silences them. So if he's hitting it, he's silencing them. And in the current meta right now, there's a lot of actives lot of actives like aside from this team you can only really build one attack modify skill using everything up you really can you can only build one good but you can build several attack uh, active based teams that's the reason why silence is so strong right now so silence is very good i'm using akazone assault um you reduce their defense by even more and their intelligence then you get a stack of shelter for two turns the way I have my team built up right now, it's not a straight cleave right now. I don't have, a, a, I don't have, without Mongolian and Calvary Archers, I'm not going for a straight cleave team. I like it to have a little bit of sustain. Um, so I'm not knocking, my goal is to not immediately knock them out. But if I get into a stalemate, I can definitely pull this team through. Let's talk to Mogwi. He is so crucial to this team. Um, you talk about a lot of these other cards. Um, you could probably make this team work without Kangas. But you cannot really make this team work in the current meta without Mogli. Mogli's main ability, we'll go ahead and talk about this. This is what makes him so strong. Before allied heroes deal basic attacks, they increase the damage received by the target by 15%. So as soon as Kangas attacks, right, turn one, before he attacks, they deal he deals an additional 15% damage. Last a turn, it can be stacked three times. Me stack three times. That's every character proccing this. I mean, you know, combo is already prevalent on this team. Combo is already prevalent on this team. Great synergy there. I'm using mine with solid defense. I really like this ability on this team. And I think eventually the meta will slow down. This team will not be able to do what it currently does. Um, I think in a season or two, I don't think this team will be just killing, killing everyone immediately. So in battle, damage taken is reduced by 6% after allies' basic attacks affected by intelligence. Mogli already has a pretty high intelligence, 
He's good right there. Stacks up the six times, lasts until the end of the battle. With how much combo's going off on this team, you're stacking this within the first three turns automatically. So by the time you're done with your initial assault within the first couple of turns, right, you you have a you have a um thirty six percent chance, right? 36% damage reduction, then a base intelligence, so we're getting closer to 40, 41, 42%. Healing hands, great ability, you know, overall, you can slide this on literally any character in this game and it'll work, you know. So, you guys already know what it does, but the recap, increases two allies uh, damage by 16%, they gain first aid, damage taken has a 50% chance to heal your own troops, um, with a heal rate of 66% for two turns, activation rate 45%. That's pretty much going off almost every other turn. So, that's him. Sub Utah. Let's get into him. One of my favorite cards. I love this guy. And, um, he's just so bonkers. 100% passive rate. He gets 60 attack. How much of that is his main? That's, um, that's give or take an additional 25. Give or take an additional 25 dam percent damage, like, you know, based on this right here. 60% group attack, folks. 60%. That means if he's landing auto attack... Let's just say he did 1,000 damage. He's doing 600, right? 600 to the other two people on the team. Yeah, just nuts. I have mine set up right now. You can build sub in two ways right now. Two ways. Uh, one, One's with triple strike. You gain combo. Last turn, 50% activation rate. If you're already in a combo state, you deal additional physical damage at 180%. Good stuff right there. Stealth charge. Um, great ability. You can throw this on Kangas, you can throw this on sub 2 I, or you can throw this on Jeb. Um, three good people to proc this on. Deals physical damage to a random a random enemy. 196% chance. Right, that's, oh my gosh, that is nuts. 68% chance on top of that to then deal additional dam damage to the enemy's chief. You're dealing group attack, you're, you're hitting for high numbers, and then you're also going to target the enemy chief on top of that while you're hitting group attack. So even if you're not hitting the main guy, you can still, with the group attack, be hitting the chief. That that just makes this team synergize so well right now. So, the other ways to build him. I want to talk about that real quick. Rama's Might and Calvary Charge. Um, Rama's Might has, at max, a 50%... Um, where is it at? I'm gonna find it here. Come on, show up, please. I'm probably using it on someone. There it is. Rama's Might Max has a 50% chance um, combo. If you're not using Mongolian Archers, this is probably the best. Now you're probably asking yourself, PvP, why aren't you using this? I don't have um, Cavalry Charge. So I'm using up all my attacks go modifier base right now. If I had Cavalry Charge, 100% without without Mongolian Cavalry Archers is the I think that's the best way to do it is Rama's Might Cavalry Charge um, Cavalry Charge for instance is at max increase your physical damage by 20% right y'all saw right there um so to I already had with his passive he had 320 right then and there 20% on that that's additional 60 already so two 260s right there then he gains group attack 70%, 70%. He is hitting with just this. With just this, folks. He is hitting um, 130%. 130% group attack. He's doing more damage on the people around him. <laughs> on combo. That's, he's hitting twice. 45% activation rate. Very high, very good. Um, it's just such a solid skill. Now... <sighs> There's so much to go into with this team, guys. I hope y'all know that. I have mine spec'd out right now. Full attack. Mogwi. Um, I have mine spec'd out with intelligence, mainly because of um, um, solid defense there. Um, now, if you have Mongolian Cavalry Archers, let's talk about that real quick. Mongolian Cavalry Archers. Let's go over here. So, Mongolian Cavalry Archers, you're going to get the increased marching speed. It's important to have increased marching speed in an active um, PvP event. Whenever it's active PvP, that's whenever marching speed really comes in handy. It's not really 
fantastic whenever you're just marching from one place to another and you get an extra you know hour cut off your time it's really prevalent whenever you just show up outside of archer tower range and you're just sniping people with this team and that's what this team is designed to do in an active warfare snipe people get in and out um and move on to the next increase attack shield modifiers by um by 10 percent. so that means triple strike um you know Akazonia, Saul, all those things that have all those great effects on them they're going off at 10 percent in the first three turns and their damage is increased by 24. so stealth charge man stealth charging for an additional 20 24 percent you know jeb's main ability it's going off even more its damage is increased then um you have kangas in the back going off with uh with all of his setup right and kangas too and i'll quickly talk about it real quick is another way that i could build right now if i had cavalry charge and what i would do is i would put triple strike on here with unhinged i would take off akazoni assault and i would put on triple strike because if he's in combo status already guys he's going to immediately proc that secondary effect then whenever combo goes off right this whenever this command goes off then he's going into um the uh he's activating combo normally so combo is going off several different times on this team um you will see i've had reports where i've been knocked out by this team turn one i didn't kangas actually i went up against with my zang team up against a kangas team it was counterable sure but i got wiped down the first one turn most of my people didn't even attack it was that bad you know you're hitting for several thousands of damage per hit sometimes with some of these teams so let us talk real quick on the excel spreadsheet and we'll go into right here we'll talk about some of the different ways to build them i don't want to sit there on that and bore y'all with all the pages of stuff and talk about on there so right now and here i can bring up a lot of the different things and purple skills and things like that they're really good i love revolt on kangas revolt on kangas is so good um you know you're already getting increased your basic attack combos going off so much that's a, it's a no-brainer right there for once country i included that on there if you're using things like triple strike or stealth charge you want to have four ones country on there if you're trying to go for a little bit cheaper surprise strike as well that's really good subutize possibilities right here there are so many different ways to build this team guys people will probably give me flack about oh why don't you put this on there why'd you put this i'm giving you guys options as you can see guys i don't have a lot of this i don't have every single skill i don't have revolt if i had revolt i would change absolutely um i don't have sun chaser you know i don't have some of those other possible possible parts of the team and i don't even have mongolian cavalry archers as well so subby tie rami rama's might cavalry charge i think is the best setup without without mongolian um and then stealth charge triple strike is the best with mongolian so um you can also do revolts as well hit and group attack increase you know just rdc i really like mass pursuit if you have triple strike on kangas there if you have mass pursuit you can use triple strike on triple strike on kangas then you have the combo going off you can hit that triple strike going off several different times right so a lot of good synergy there and then you'd pair cavalry charge up with that as well mogwai um troop skill healing and solid defense know thy enemy um it's basically is it's a lot like um surprise strike you decrease their um defense by a little bit more you don't silence them though and you heal your own troops you don't really need to heal on this team you'll hear me talk about that whenever i go into the jap someone makes them so terrible but you don't really need to heal yourself on this team i like to increase their defense yes but i don't really need to heal them right if this team's going down it's going down right first aid's on there i want that increased damage mainly i want that increased 16 percent the first aid's there you know it can kind of recover you a little bit but it's not going to do a whole lot surprise strike as well i've seen it come into the meta i've seen it on a few different teams i really like it on him if you're using mongolian cavalry archers that is very good there all to arms as well is a good thing to use if you have um uh if you if you're using limited skills right if you're using limited skills all to arms very good keen pursuit as well i love that you can stack that with his main ability and you can hit him hard right at the beginning so a lot of good stuff there jeb i didn't i don't have him so i can't really you know speak prevalently on him i would like to, i would love to see him with triple strike sun chaser i think that would be such a sweet setup right you got mongolian cavalry archers going off you got sun chaser going off 
you're hitting his main and triple strike almost every turn, just about. You're getting upwards of 60, probably 65% activation rate on some of these things um, as well. Cell Charge, 4 ones Country on him would be very good. I would put it at one of the more top-ranked. Um, definitely the best purple skill to use on him would be 4 ones Country as well. Unhinge, Undefeated. I haven't spoken a lot on un Undefeated. I'm not the biggest fan of Undefeated. I used it a little bit earlier. It wasn't achieving some of the damage that I was hoping it will. I would rather see Group Attack. I would rather use um, Cavalry Charge on Kangas rather than Undefeated. Right, because the plus twenty percent um, percent uh, uh, attack damage, and then the group attack on him, I would much rather do that than use undefeated. It's still up there. It's a fine skill, but I just don't think it's currently that great. Bow, you're gonna basically build him the same way you build Mowgli. Um, I included a few different other passives on there. It's not like um, you know they're in the same green aspect. I think they'll work. Right, you'll have to change some things around. But you basically built him almost the exact same way that you would build Mowgli. I did include a few other things in there. Him with Max Pursuit would be fine. Uh, you know, you could ha always have combo going off and whenever you've got Triple Strike, um, different things like that going off, you've got that synergy going on there. Um, PNP, you know, all to arms, King Pursuit, a lot of the same things you got going on there. I like PNP there um, because you're, you're not going to kill them as quick as you will with Mowgli. Okay. It's one quick thing to note there. You won't kill him as fast. So that's the reason why I would rather see some defense probably popped in there as well. Tomaris. I love this card, man. I love Tomaris. Really. Tom is such a good card. She's just outshined by Subutai on the same team. And she doesn't get the um, the bonus for the, the, the critical damage and the speed, right? It's a little bit, but every inch helps you here. So... You build, basically, you would build her the same way you do Subutai. Um, you could throw in a few different other actives, though, right? I can't really, I don't want to include, you can't just sit here and include every single ability. So, Morale Boost, I think, would be pretty sweet on her. Mass Pursuit, wait, wait, same way. I'd love Returning in Triumph if you could dag him, get a second Caesar. But you could put Returning in Triumph on nearly everyone. You could put Bloody Battle on some of these guys as well, and it would do very well. So, really like those setups. Um... And that's pretty much it on how to build them like a Chad, folks. I mean, this team, it can work several different ways. Um, Kangas is such a good card. I would say you can also get it early. You know, talking to a, a little bit more of the um, the aspects about what makes this team so good, in my fair opinion, is you get Subutai for free. You, know, you, get a third, you get a third of this team for free. Um, you, don't, you don't have anything else like that in the current meta. Leonidas as well, you get him, you know, for paying for the season pass as well. Um, you do get Attila. You do get Attila for free. I didn't put Attila on here. He's not even worth really bringing up. I, he's, Attila with an A in Archers isn't the same as I would put Ardesh with Spearman, right? Ardesh actually works with the team. Attila doesn't really work well here. Um, he might work on the Cavs setup. You know, with the cavalry, that might work there. But Arnimus is definitely the best one, Cav, um, and so is uh, with the B. Lot, I would say the uh, the Northern Cavs have a lot more utility outside of the Archer range, right? You know, whenever you look at B, you don't want to use Subtui and Kangas too much on the Cav if you are looking at it from I have V, I have Arnimus, and I have uh, like Kangas or I have Attila, those different things as well. A lot of these, a lot of the northern setups, you get a third of them for free. I love that. You know, um, I made the mistake. I would 100% say do not break your uh, side note. Just don't break down your Attila. And I would say don't break down your sub -twi, Um If you have the, let's say you get a lot of Japanese. Don't break down sub -twi. The Japanese right now are garbage. Do not go into them. Um, don't think that because you have uh, Yushiga Kenshin, that stealth charge is going to make him great. Do not break down your sub twi unless you get a second one. That's my opinion. You get these, um, kind of diving back into the game real quick, and I'll wrap it up. But before I end it, before I end it, folks, before I end it, let's talk about their traits real quick. Before let, let's let's touch base right now on their traits, and let's see what we do. So Kangas, right now, I have them set up with uh, season two. Season two, you unlock this. I have mine right now set up with Art of War, and so. 
Basically what this does, reduces your damage taken by 8% after launching your attack mod. I have two on him right now. That's very good as well. Um, Mighty Blow. This is undoubtedly the easiest one to pick. Increases damage dealt by attacks by 7%. I think in some aspects as well, um, you could go Dynamic Maneuver. Um, but I just don't appreciate the 5% deduction right there. I do think that there's like one that increases... Um, there is perfect alignment. Perfect alignment is pretty good if you want a little bit more sustainability. So diving into uh, sub twi, lore and enemy, easily the best one. Motivation, damage dealt by random ally by 3%. I mean, no brainer right there. Easy damage, you're you're going for cleave, you're going for quick damage, that's definitely right there. Sub twi, he's built the exact same way. Um, you could go, um, Foresight with the Rama's Might Cavalry Charge setup. I think that's the best way to do that one. Um, the critical, especially if the way that you have the bond set up right, you already have that synergy right there. A very easy setup right there. I think there's uh, there's two main ways to do him. Um, I wouldn't go poised. This team is based around killing people. Do not go poised. Go for the kill. Right. Don't be conservative on this. Um, I'm trying to think of the best one to use. I would use there. Um, that wouldn't be bad. Increase your attack intelligence by 10 for two turns after activating your stack seven two time. With Rama's Might Calvary Charge activation rate, that's pretty good right there. Without further ado, guys, that's how you build the uh, the Northern Archers Mongolian Cavalry like a champ. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.